Lincoln students, we'd like to welcome our students, parents, and caregivers back to school year 21-22. I am Mrs. Gauthier, principal of Lincoln School, and I am looking forward to seeing students five days a week for in-person learning this year. Classroom letters were mailed home to families on August 13th. If you have not yet received yours, please contact the office at 626-2483. If you are new to the area, please call the office so that you can get some registration paperwork and we can get you signed up and onto a class list. Here is some important information for families. The first student day for grades one through six is September 1st. Kindergarten will be participating in screening that week on September 1st, the second and third in the morning. The first official day for kindergartners will be on September 7th. Our open house has been pushed back this year to September 14th with a rain date of the 16th. This is going to be a meet and greet outside so families can meet their child's teacher. We'll be sending home information on this that first week of school with specific times. Arrival time for students will be at 8 a.m. this year. Parents should not drop off their child any earlier than that unless they want to wait with them. Announcements will be at 8.20 and students will be considered tardy after 8.30. Our buses will be using the bus loop area to drop off students. This is for buses only. Families who are dropping off their children can park down in the staff parking lot and form a line. They can either let their child out so they can walk up to the main door or they can walk their child up to the main door and staff will be there to help get them inside. It is helpful if families let us know uh, how their child will be getting home that first week. So that way we can know if they're taking the bus, walking, or parent pickup. Bus routes will be posted on our district website soon. Once they are, we will share them for families. Upon arrival, all students will enter the main building via the main entrance, and staff will be on the inside to help get students to their classrooms. I will be recruiting sixth graders to be my helpers this year and to be role models for our littles, so sixth graders be on the lookout for that. Dismissal time will begin at 2.40. We will begin with walkers followed by parent pickups and any buses as they arrive. Parents who are picking up their child will need to sign them out with staff in the outdoor classroom. Please have a photo ID available. If there are any changes with dismissal, please make sure to contact our office before two because it can be a busy time of day for us. If someone different is picking up your child, please make sure that we know the name of that person and that they have a photo ID as well. We're gonna head into the building so we can show you some more areas of the school. school students will need to make sure that they have their mask on. We are all continuing to wear our mask this year. I'm going to go in and buzz the main office so Mrs. Cloutier can let me in. Once we are inside the office, there will be adults here to help direct students. Grades three through six will go up this stair to their classroom. And our kindergarten and second grade students will head this way. to their classroom. This is the cafeteria. I'm going to take my mask off so folks can hear me. This is the cafeteria set up where students will be eating their lunch. Each bench is marked with red so that way students will know where to sit when they are eating their lunch. When they come down to eat their lunch, they'll remove their mask and eat. And once they are done eating, they will put their mask back on. This year, meals will be continued to be free, but we are still encouraging families to complete the nutrition forms online as that is tied to our federal funding. We're gonna head this way now. This is our water fountain area. The water fountains in the classroom will be turned off again. Families are encouraged to send a water bottle in with their child for school. Students can come down and fill up their water bottle for hot days like we had this past week. Over here, this is our gym. Mr. Bellani is super excited to have his gym back this school year. Last year, this served as a secondary cafeteria for us. It is currently set up for staff for that first official professional development day. 
Heading this way, we're going to go check out the music and art room. This is our music and art class. This is Mrs. Newback, the art teacher, and Mrs. Carr's class. So they are very excited to have their classroom space back. So when students have specials this year, they will go to these classes versus having them pushed into the classroom. We are also excited to have music class where students will be able to sing as they'll be wearing their masks. And we'll get back to having some performances this year. We're going to head back through the cafeteria and up to the main office. many questions that parents may have this school year. Over here, this is Nurse Jessie's office. She is the one who helps if anybody is not feeling well or has a bump or a bruise. The school district is participating in pool testing this school year. That will begin on September 13th. If any family signed up in the spring, they do not need to do that again. Forms will be sent home as part of our first day handouts for families who choose to do this, but they can also register online. Because of universal masking and pool testing, we're going to reduce any need for quarantining for students. Over here, this is our licensed clinical professional counselor's office, Miss Ginny. She works for students who may need help with uh, regulation and managing their emotions, or if they're just having a hard time and need someone to talk to. She has lots of tools that she works with students on using to help them throughout the day. In addition, Miss Ginny is also the keeper of our guinea pigs, cinnamon and brownie, so they'll be coming back this school year as well. And over here is my office. I look forward to meeting and seeing students and working with them and their families throughout the school year. And I am also a strong supporter of our Boston teams. This is it for part one of our school tour. Next week, I will come back and give students and families a sneak peek into the classrooms. Enjoy your weekend.